There is another companion named Eberaha, the Ethiopian, but he is different than the man we just mentioned. This other man named Eberaha, the Ethiopian, who was also a companion, he is the man that arrived with Jafar, Jafar ibn Abdul Muttalib, with 32 Ethiopians. You know, the Muslims had migrated to Ethiopia so they could get some relief from the pagans who were harming them. And not only did an Najashi embrace Islam, but many of those with him also embraced Islam. And so they migrated with 32 Ethiopians to Medina. And Allah Ta'ala actually sent down a verse about them. He said, Those to whom we gave the scripture before, they are believers in it. Sa'id ibn al-Jubayr, he said, this verse is about the campaigns of an najashi who was the king of Ethiopia. They said to him, give us permission to go to this prophet that we used to find in our scripture. And so they went to the prophet, salam, and they fought with him in the battle of Uhud. So keep in mind that there were many Ethiopians who embraced Islam along with an najashi May Allah Ta'ala be pleased with Abraha the Ethiopian.